So Ramon, quoting you once, uh, apparently your mayor of Johannesburg is an ISIS member. Not my words, your words. Anyway, apparently the ISIS member doesn't really know what uh, a loan is, which is unsurprising because as you know, in Islam, loans aren't really a thing. You're not actually allowed to earn interest on loans. So, you know, give the guy a break, eh? I mean, he don't really know what a loan is. He also doesn't really know what his responsibilities as a mayor is. He thinks that his responsibilities are, well, pretty much fixing potholes and you don't know where the potholes is. Although clearly he's never been to Joburg because all of Joburg is a pothole. But uh, with that all being said, apparently all his coalition potholes have now got Khafu with him and are telling him to uh, basically get a new job. What do you think of that? Yeah, it's quite hilarious. People are always like upset about the ANC EFF coalitions, right? Like how destructive they can be. And yes, they are very destructive. One thing we need to realize is that ANC and EFF are sort of incompetent as well. And Joburg is a good example of that. So they put this puppet uh, ISIS member as the mayor of Joburg. And over the weekend, he had an interview with the SABC or whoever the case might be. And this is what he had to say. Yesterday, I was in a meeting with, with one of the stakeholders. Um, in that meeting, I've, 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 I was able to secure a prospect of about 9.5 billion, where this company says, we are willing to give you this uh, a loan, uh, but it will come in a form of a finance model when you're taking a finance. So it comes at a, uh, an interest rate of about 2%. You only pay 2% for the period of five years without paying the amount of the loan. It's only the, the, the percentage. And then after five years, then you will pay for the next 15 years. So these are the discussions. So that what is this for? What, what, what would this loan potentially be for? It is for service delivery issues. It is for technologies, for smart city, where we can deploy. What smart city? A, a decade ago, we were talking about the installation of CCTV cameras in the city of Johannesburg. A few weeks ago, you signed a new memorandum of understanding, again, around cameras. And right. we see those cameras capturing crime that you are doing very little about because the inner city right now is such a dangerous place that people who don't have to be there don't venture there. You're so correct. how is it helping us? You're correct. Remember, I'm not in the office for the past decade. I'm only a month. No, no, no. And, I'm and, saying and this started correct. more than a decade ago. All right. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the mayor is, let me just say, not, not, not terribly smart. And based on this video clip, Gayton McKenzie, the head of the Patriarch Alliance, seems to have been doing an about turn in terms of he feels like the Patriarch Alliance, by going into coalition with the ANC and the EFF, have let down Joe Burgers. And that could be very interesting in time to come. Gator McKenzie was obviously the person who allowed the ANC and the EFF to take a majority in order to take the coalition in that municipality. But obviously without his support, well, the ANC and the EFF don't actually have the numbers. Thank God for that. And it now appears that Mr. McKenzie has decided that the EFF and the ANC are a bunch of crooks, which... To be frank, we could have told him about a year ago. But, you know, he has done something that I think is a first for any politician. And that is, he actually apologized for his mistake. He said, I made a mistake, I backed the wrong horse, and uh, as a result, he now appears that he may be exiting the coalition agreement he has in that municipality. Right, and the PA has also been asked around in Erkuleni. So only a week or two ago, Erkuleni was taken over by the ANC EFF Axis of Evil with the PA helping them as well, as far as I understand. But now the EFF have turned around to the Pedrick Alliance and said, well, you know, the positions you wanted, we don't care about giving you those positions, irrespective of the coalition pact we have with you. So the PA is being messed around, according to the PA, of course, by the DA, they're being messed around by the ANC and they're being messed around by the EFF. Yet they chose to hitch their horse with the latter parties to sort of give the DA the middle finger. So I wonder, based on that apology, the Twitter apology by Gator McKenzie, do you think the Pedrick Alliance is A, going to go back with the DA and maybe get what they want or not get what they want, we'll see. But most importantly, number two, it shows that the PA is the real kingmaker in Gauteng and could be the real kingmaker in South Africa come 2024. Not the EFF, the PA. Unlike the EFF that seems to have no electoral growth, the PA is having electoral growth. And we have seen this even in the Western Cape. In some municipalities in the Western Cape, there have even been a viable opposition to the DA, which shows us that come 2024, the party that needs to be courted is the PA.
not the EFF. Exactly. And that is the absolute key here. So Byron and I will be going to Burford West very, very soon to stay with Gator McKenzie and vlog with him for a whole day. So if you're asking yourself why we aren't calling the PA a bunch of it's because, well, we don't actually know them that well. Right, it could be various reasons why they vote the way they do, but there seems to be recognition with the Patriarch Alliance at least, since we've been speaking to them in setting up this vlog and seeing what statements they've made. It seems like the PA is quite sensitive to what actually happens in the coalitions they form part of, at least in Hateng. At least. But once we actually see Gaten for a day, film it, get to know him a bit better, we'll have a fair understanding of what his thoughts are concerning politics in South Africa and his role in politics in South Africa. We do know for a fact that Gaten McKenzie and Helen Zilla did not get along at all, but maybe there is hope where the DA and the PA can sort of come together in time for Gauteng itself, but more importantly for the national election in 2024. Because I think the PA is going to be the kingmaker. Screw the EFF completely. The PA is growing. The PA's got a lot of clout, and Gaten knows a good deal when he sees one. Yeah, and so for those of you who look at it and go, yeah, but the PA allowed the ANC and the EFF to get into various municipalities. Yeah, they did it because they thought they could police the ANC and the EFF. They thought they could hold them to a high path of righteousness. Now, let's not all be high and mighty and overly sanctimonious because there are many people that feel that they can get the ANC to reform. Unfortunately, that's not how it works in reality. It's the whole RET versus reformer faction. We've heard these arguments over how many years now. There is no reformer faction. There's just an extraction network. And I think what McKenzie had to learn, Mr. McKenzie had to learn this. He had to learn that by being in partnership with them, there was no reform agenda. There was no salvaging the ANC. All you had left was an extraction network and all they wanted to do was just eat the carcass dry. And I think he now knows that, which is why he's admitted to his mistake. Yeah, and I think it's also a very important lesson. So if the ANC and the EFF won to get into power in 2024, they may have one less coalition partner in terms of the PA come 2024. So in actual fact, what the ANC and the EFF are doing are isolating themselves even more by not really bringing the PA into the coalition pact that they agreed with them in the first place. So maybe it's a big failure on behalf of the ANC and the EFF to leave the PA out in the cold. But I'm sure the PA knows that it has to take full responsibility for its actions. But if you make a mistake and you learn from it, this is something we should accept as the citizens of the country, I would suppose. Yeah, I mean, it's the same thing I say to my staff, right? It's okay to make a mistake, but where I draw the line is when you make the mistake twice. Because a mistake once is accidental, you learn from it, a mistake twice is deliberate and it's just reckless. And I think in this instance, we can forgive Mr. McKenzie for making the mistake once. If he learns from it and reforms his ways, he does have a lot of clout, he does have his heart in the right place. Maybe we see another coalition partner on the coalition of the righteous as opposed to the coalition of the extractive. And the coalition of the righteous with the PA could do wonderful things. And hopefully that together Together, they can feed the coalition of the extractors. And speaking of which, uh, there is a motion of no confidence that was handed in by Action South Africa in Johannesburg against the mayor, against the axis of evil ISIS mayor. But this will be the PA's big chance to prove once and for all where does it actually stand. Does it stand on behalf of the people that voted it in, or do they stand on behalf of the extractors of society, such as the ANC and the EFF? So I think that motion of no confidence and the way they vote in Joburg will determine the future of the PA in time to come. And personally, I hope they vote right. I I hope that the PA grows and becomes a very important member of the Moonshot Pact that John Cena has been speaking about to topple the ANC regime in 2024.